This is Twit. There has been a lot of excitement in the last few years about the future of what SOCs like Risk Five and ARM hold for Linux. ARM has been in our mobile devices for years, but has struggled a little bit in desktops, laptops. It's known for being compact, lightweight, cool, and and then quiet. And you know, all those features have made them the dream of what laptops really could be for us. But they've always come off as a little rather underpowered. You know, I purchased my Pinebook uh, right here, my Pinebook uh, quite a few years ago now already. Yeah, and it was nice, lightweight. I mean, it still is lightweight and nice, cool and quiet. The plastic feels a little cheap, but the real issue was it just lacked the power that, that I needed. But a few years ago, Apple came along with their M1 chips and showed us ARM can be powerful. Well, it has taken a little time for makers like Qualcomm to catch up, but um, they are now they are releasing the Snapdragon X Elite chip that claims to be able to compete with Apple Silicon. And I believe I believe some benchmarks out there too have shown that it does compete quite well. So far, all the vendors have only been showing off Windows on the X Elite chips. Uh, and for good reason, Windows has just struggled on ARMs way more than <laughs> Linux has. Yeah. But if Windows can run on the X Elite, then why not Linux? And that's just what's going to happen. Bavarian Linux PC vendor Tuxedo Computers is working on just that. Pictures of this laptop look sleek like a MacBook. And the power of the prototype contains, uh, it contains a 12-core X Elite uh, 2560 by 1600 14 inch display, aluminum body, 32 gigabit of LPDDR5 RAM, one PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD, and, and it's in development with Linux support. This prototype was displayed at Computex in Taiwan last week. And if it lives up to all the hype, this is the next laptop I think I want. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't live up to that hype, or you just want something maybe a little more open, uh, well, you got risk the Risk Five chip, and they too are going to be coming out with a Linux desktop for you uh, real soon. This week, Canonical announced the first Risk Five laptop running Ubuntu, and I'm excited for the future of Risk Five, but. Probably not as excited as I am for the other laptop, you know, and and not because not because it's running Ubuntu. <laughs> <laughs> but last year, Jonathan and I we both purchased the the Vision Five two boards, and eh, it there was a lot of work to, to get it. It was just a board, and I never I never really got around to playing much with it. But I believe Jonathan has, and mm -hmm. from his reviews and what I'm reading about the Risk Five. Uh, laptop online. Uh, it sounds a lot like the early days of ARM, similar to my Pinebook. Uh, it's suitable for light computing tasks, but for those wanting to get their hands on something more powerful, the, the ARM one sounds like it may be the better option. But if you're still interested in this Risk Five, it is a 14-inch Risk Five laptop with Ubuntu pre-installed, 16 gigabits of RAM, and eight hours of battery life. Pre-orders open June 18th, and well, by the time a lot of you read this recording or listen to this recording, I mean, uh, pre-orders may be open or opening very soon. So, if you're interested, you can just head out over to Deep Computing. Dot io. So these are some pretty cool laptops in, in the works. Uh, I'm definitely more interested in the, you know, even though we have Asahi Linux for, for the MacBook, uh, having something that's really kind of natively open and, and, and built with Linux on it, it seems pretty, pretty awesome. So I personally wish that more people would get behind either this, the like the NVIDIA Jetson standard, or what um, 
what Raspberry Pi is using. Now, this is a, a Raspberry Pi CM on top of an adapter board to go to the Jetson standard. I wish people would start putting these slots in these laptops. So come along and do something like what Framework is doing. That way you can buy the laptop, it'll have the slot in it, and you can then put an ARM chip in it, a RISC-V chip in it. You can run with it for a while, oh, and then wow. in a couple of years, when another one comes out, you can just upgrade the SOC out from underneath. That is what these this this laptop infrastructure needs to look like because there's already a working standard out there it's not terribly expensive to build these you can get a hold of the uh, the slot uh, it's what turing machines did with the the turing pi 2 and their rk1 which they've built on top of it i i don't know why more people are not jumping on this for laptops maybe maybe framework needs to do it i don't know who needs to do it somebody needs to do it it would be amazing i would love to see that take off for a more consumer style uh, standard. That's a cool idea. Did you come up with that with yourself or? Uh... Uh, ish. This this has sort of been percolating for a while. Well, ever since I, I dug into the, uh, the the Turing, the, the the new Turing Pi, because it lets you put you know four of these devices. And so what they did is, and they they built these little adapter boards. Here's what it looks like without the Pi on it. They built these little adapter boards that you can take like the Raspberry Pi compute module, and you can drop it on one of these adapters and then slot it in and it'll act sort of like an NVIDIA Jetson device. And so you can put whatever you want to on there. And so like I'm using them now, we're running ARM GitHub runners for one of the projects I'm involved in because up until a few days ago, ARM or GitHub did not offer anything ARM. You had to cross compile or run inside a virtual machine. Both of those are sort of terrible options. Um, but it, it, it occurred to me and, and one of the friends that I had helping me do sort of the testing to that board, it occurred to both of us at about the same time that wouldn't it be cool if we could put this in another device? And it just kind of snowballed from there. Well, I think this is a good step, at least. Uh, I think it'd be nice to see some good, higher quality mm -hmm. ARM and, and, and RISC-V laptops out there. And then, you know, maybe the next step uh, somebody can work on combining the the likes of the framework with with your idea here yeah yeah i would love to see a laptop with that sort of that sort of a uh, a slot on it to make the processor swappable it'd be great hey it's leo laporte i hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv for more visit our website twit.tv or subscribe in your favorite podcast client there's also a link somewhere down there <laughs>